Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a special um, tower reading for my Leos and this will be for this new moon that we have in Pisces and so we have a new moon on the 26th of February in Pisces and the Sun for you my Leos wow wow all the cards are already jumping everywhere the Sun is currently in Pisces so uh, for you, Pisces represents your eighth house. And uh, the way we, we count the, the houses in astrology is you look at your, your house, Leo, as the first house, and then you go counterclockwise until you see Pisces. And you'll see it's the eighth house, which is a house of sex, transformation, death, and rebirth. And so this reading will be about this new moon energy and see what it will bring you. In uh, 2017, I think I, I told you guys I'm doing things differently, okay? And so I will pull one card from this deck. This is Archetype Cards deck by Carolyn Miss. I think I did this one as well for you guys on the last uh, full moon. And then I'm going to take one de one card from this deck, which is Wisdom of the House of Night. Okay? And this is by PC Cast and Colette Barron. All the information will be below the video. But those two are new decks, so for the last one, I will have the booklet and read the uh, message from Spirit. And this one is my regular Morgan Gleer deck, you guys. Recognize this one. And I'll pull two cards from this one. And see what spirit has to say from my Leos. We have here, oh, I love this card. It's interesting. This is a very, very, very deep card. It's the Six of Swords. Okay. Look at the other card. Oh, wow, you're back on your feet. The Emperor. Okay. Well, what's happening is you're crossing. A bridge and something in yeah there's something that is ending right now you're turning your back at something this what means the six of swords and sometimes it's this an energy that comes where you may feel abandoned or you may have yourself uh, have to let go of someone abandon a friendship maybe a lover a job an idea you know, something that you really, and you have to do it in a way where it's not necessarily what you would have wanted, but ultimately it's the best for you. And so the good energy, the good news is that it's bringing you some, it, into a different place. It's finally closing. It's that way you're allowing the strength to finally, finally close a chapter. Okay. And this will bring you growth. And you know what? Leos are fixed sign. Leos and Aquarius are fixed. Taurus and Scorpios are fixed. Fixed signs is very, very difficult for them to change. And it could be good for them because it brings them passion. You know, they have a fixed idea. They're determined. But it could be sometimes detrimental because in love and relationship or in other things that are really not fulfilling for them or not for their best for the highest good, they're still holding on to it. But the good news is, like I said, this is an ending where you're finally closing something that was no longer serving you. Maybe it's a health habit that you have that you're like, you know what, I'm going to stop smoking. I just, it doesn't, I'm going to stop, I'm going to have the strength, because you have the strength now, you have your ruler, the sun, is in Pisces. It's your eighth house. And, it, you know, the eighth house is Scorpio house. It rules by Scorpio. It's all about transformation. When you decide you, you die and then you, you reborn yourself into some other uh, energy that is stronger and much better than what you had before. Okay? And you will definitely because we have the emperor here. And that's a major arcana. So the energy is very important, more than the, the Six of Swords, although it was the first car, card that uh, I pulled. So, But you'll be back on your feet. You know, sometimes, especially in this type of energy right now, 
Uh, I would say for you, my some of my Leos, focus on your your career. You know, the Emperor is all about leadership. Okay, uh, it's the highest energy, masculine energy. It, his position is higher than any king, any element. It is the Emperor, right? So, but the quality of his energy is he's also close to the people. He knows now that he has been a king that you cannot go anywhere just by yourself. You really have to also work with other people. So you have this access now to really build something for yourself or for other people, whatever and wherever you want to put your energy. Um, it shows that you will be able to build something very quickly, okay, to get back into some interesting uh, create, creative venture or maybe some type of new job or maybe any type, you know, but it could be a new man also for, for my ladies. It could be that, you know, if you have been looking for a certain type of relationship and now you're finally able to understand, uh, you know, maybe that you have to uh, change your, 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 your needs and then with that, you're able to manifest, you know, who you want, if that's what you want. But for, for others, it could be that, you know, you're ending a job. Or there's a career, if you have been a nurse for 20 years, although you liked it, you will always be a nurse. But now you have other interests. Do you want to do you wanna, um, work on, um, on jewelry or uh, whatever? Or maybe it could be that you have been a housewife, your kids are grown, and now you really want to go back to school, and you're ready, and you arrange your schedule according, whatever that is, it will bring you growth. But not only growth, it will put you in a, a position where you don't have to start from the bottom. All the gain that you have accumulated, all the, you know, the dignified uh, action and behavior, the good karma, you will be aligned in that direction, and you will be already set to produce results. So there's no wait time for you here. Because you you were willing to do the necessaries to finally cross the bridge, now you're back on in a strong authoritative position or in a strong leadership position or just in yourself when you have that strength within yourself. And let me take one card from this deck for you, my Leos. Okay, I feel like taking this one over here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what it says. So card number nine, chaos. Internally, I think so, maybe chaos, because like I said, Leos are fixed. But let me tell you, you know, Leos, don't resist to change. You know, sometimes... Uh, you know, the thing with the sun in, in in the eight house, it's an uncomfortable position for you because the eight house is kind of a dark place a little bit. Scorpio likes to be in the background where the sun, we need the, sh the sun to be shining. Really, you know, everywhere. We, le we need energy, right? So it, it could be a difficult position for you now where if you haven't done the necessary changes in your life, now your your ruler, the sun in your eight house, is going to make you do the changes. And especially in Pisces, it's going to be very transformative. It's going to be emotional, deep, but it's going to make you feel really good at the end. Okay, so it's card number nine. And it says, for you, my Leos, it says, A storm is brewing and misunderstandings are all too common as chaos swirls around your life right now okay so just be aware of that you know what don't be too concerned about being understood really don't be too concerned about that right now just make sure I, 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 although it says misunderstanding meaning for me the way I see it is just express yourself because the eight house is the house of Scorpio and Scorpio they're, they're, uh, sometimes they hold grudges that's how they express themselves you know by not really express here I would say you know people will notice if you're not your happy self right away they will notice people will notice if there's something wrong with you so don't try to create any misunderstanding and be like oh yeah all this well yeah no no S speak it express it that's the 12 houses when you have to let it go you have to release and make sure that you say it okay so this card is 
servant. Look at this card, it's so beautiful. Servant. And the light attribute of this energy for you uh, within this cycle, my Leos, is delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. Of course. No doubt. And then the shadow attribute, using the lack of money as an excuse not to move forward with life. Okay? And so, and then again, it has, to, again, it's a house of money. But don't be focused on that too much. Here, there's a deep transformation. You are aligned to transform. It's mostly where you have to go. And to do that, sometimes you have to release, and it's difficult to get for you, my Leos, but release control. And not try to over calculate everything. Just try to see the outcome if you just connect and let that go. Okay? But I'm going to end this reading for you here, my beauty. Oh, actually, no. Wait, did I? Yeah, actually, I took this. I actually gave you the, the Wisdom of the House of the Night um, deck already. I think it was card number nine, Chaos. So I'm going to end this reading here for you, my beautiful Leos. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comments. Until next time, send you lots of kisses. I love you.